and action. All right, we should be live now. So um, I'll go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll give it like 30 seconds or so, and then we can jump into it. So um, yeah, uh, I'll just do like my little intro. We'll go around, everybody introduce themselves and jump straight into it. So. Welcome everyone. I'm Blake from Bourboner and Sealbox. Tonight I am joined by the guys from Breaking Bourbon as well as Chris Fredrickson from uh, Traverse, City, Traverse City Whiskey Company. We're going to be picking another barrel. So this is actually our second collaborative barrel and really the third. You know, we, we did the whiskey, uh, the shared whiskey fest together. So it's, it's fun to have everybody back even though it's virtual. So thank you all for joining me. And uh, yeah, if we want to go ahead and do intros, Nick, go ahead and go ahead and introduce yourself. I don't know if you want to introduce the group, you know, yeah, do the crew, Nick. your own little screen time. It's sure. Up <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, hey, everybody, I'm Nick, uh, one of the three guys from Breaking Bourbon, breakingbourbon.com. So excited to be doing this again. It's, it's, it's bringing back some memories of that first Traverse City pick, mm -hmm. um, which was uh, which was a lot of fun. We actually did that on site. Of course, now in today's times, we're doing it remotely. Uh, but uh, so that brings in a couple of members who were not present for the last one from my team, which is Jordan and Eric. Uh, so, you know, glad we can all be doing this one together. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to it. We'll uh, go from there, see where this takes us. Still, still one of my favorite barrel picks to date. Uh, it, I'll never forget it, Chris walking out and goes, okay, here's all the barrels. You know, we're tasting all these bourbon barrels. We're tasting all these rye barrels. Before we get started, do you guys like shooting guns? <laughs> I'm like, I mean, not your average barrel pick question, but yeah, why not? Walked us out back. We, we shot some steam for a little while. It was the best way to kick off a barrel pick I think I've ever had. So Chris, go ahead and introduce yourself and uh, yeah, let's talk about Trevor City a little bit. Absolutely. <clears throat> so Blake, Nick, awesome to see you guys again. Uh, rest of the Breaking Bird crew, uh, pleasure to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you too, Chris. Too. Rem remotely. I wish we were in person. We're not, but uh, my name is Chris. I'm one of the owners and distillers from Traverse City Whiskey. Uh, we've been, uh, Traverse City Whiskey has been a thing now for about eight years, going on nine. And we had Nick and Blake up in Traverse City, what was it, guys, about five, ten years ago? It feels like. Um, many yeah, moves. That was like last century, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it feels like a lifetime, but. Um, Got you guys up to experience uh, core Traverse City whiskey, shot some guns. Uh, we're out in the, the cherry orchard during the cherry bloom. Shared about everything that makes Traverse City whiskey kind of what it is, the essence. We did a, a barrel pick. You guys actually selected our first released barrel of 100% rye, uh, which was one of our first barrels distilled in house back in 2015. And we are reuniting for a bourbon pick. Yeah, which yeah. I think one of the uh, one of the really cool things about Traverse City is when we visited, they're like, said, okay, well, I'm going to the distillery. I, I was a little bit later than everybody else getting in. Like, oh, are you going to TC1, TC2, TC3? Or are you going to the, the showroom? I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I think I'm just going to Traverse City Whiskey Company. I'm not. <laughs> Guys that are like basically taking over the entire uh, the entire city, I think, at this point. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, certainly an immersive experience. I'm, I'm thinking back on that first pick, too. That was a wide open one because there were, if I remember right, there were four bourbons and four ryes that were laid out. Um, the only thing we knew was which four were the bourbons and which four were the rise, but every outside of that, you know, it was scattered. It was, you know, stuff that was sourced. It was stuff that you guys made. And so that's what was really cool was we didn't know when we picked that rye that it was actually the one you guys had made. And we found that out after the fact, which was a lot of fun because like you said, it was the first, you know, barrel pick that was hundred percent you guys that we ended up, we ended up doing so. Of course, yeah. today we're doing bourbon, right? I remember those bourbons were really good too, you know, but we just really like that rye. So, you know, excited now to be trying the other side of the spectrum. And of course, uh, you know, 
get hit in the other side of it, you know, as we uh, compare to what our first one was. So for anybody that was in on the first one and got a bottle, this is going to be different because it's going to be a going to be a bourbon. Yeah. Heck now, yeah. Chris, can you can you give us any like? Uh, should we taste them blind and not know any details about the barrels? I know we've got a little bit on the bottle. So if you want to tell us, like, hey, these were aged here. They're all similar age. Yeah, they're <clears> – <throat> so everything that we're tasting tonight is within a similar age category. Um, it It's all traditional mash bill that I think we'll all recognize, uh, 75 corn, 21 rye, and 4% malted barley. It, uh, you know, just a hair older than the last go around. And there's, there's some diversity. Um, there's something fun that I'm going to share with you after we kind of make a, a decision here, but it, uh, it is you know, traditional flavor, traditional taste, traditional nose, um, and just some, some fun stuff that we wanted to roll up for this remote pick. Yeah. Cool. So please, by all means, uh, guide the way. Let me know where you want to start. I have the three samples in front of me as well. Yeah, I'm um, so, so I'm kind of going down the line 446, 450, and 448. I don't know why I chose that uh, arrangement because it's not it, like the um, the OCD in me is wanting to flip them to be in numerical order. But hey, that's where they landed on the table, so that's how I'm tasting right now. Um, but really, all all really good noses. Uh, you know, four four six. I get a lot of caramel, some vanilla. I get like a red hot candy with some pepper, and I get a little bit of like like a like a sweet grain and corniness on, on the nose and a little bit like mid palate. So are you, so I've got yeah, I was just gonna say. four, four, nine and four, five, one. So is that, are those different barrels or are we as like four, four, six and four, four, seven, the same. Hold on. What barrels do you have? <laughs> <laughs> My first is four, four, seven. You see that there. Yeah, okay. and then I got four four nine. See that? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got four five one. <laughs> the four is a little bit scratched off on it, but the five one is is uh is good. Guys, do we have two different kits? <laughs> we might have two different kits. Impossible. No, it doesn't look like Blake's gonna win this one. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's going to be three first one. Thanks for coming to together. So I'm like one down. So I'm four four six instead of four four seven. I'm four five zero instead of four five one and four four eight. Um, Chris, what do you have? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> four four six four five. All right. So we have guys. I think yeah. we have split kits. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should have maybe checked that before. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, let's sit and taste, and me and Chris are let's, gonna take a barrel. So, breaking guys, <laughs> uh, barrel. Said, I think we said we were doing uh, three before, so I guess now we're it's, it's a total of six <laughs> barrels we're taking. So I think we're <laughs> we just double that. <laughs> so, All right. if, um, so here, so guys, this is a first, right? We've uh, one. This is our second gotta, collaboration pick, like this. Gotta love virtual. <laughs> gotta love virtual. Yeah. But at the same time, I think what I'm personally the most interested in, I think what you guys are the most interested in is conviction in the selection. So we can we can go through it. If there are if there's one we love or there's two we love, then you know we can we will eventually be making an informed group decision. But but I'm 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 most curious to hear about where kind of where your heart lies with this selection. So let's just let's kick it off. Um, I was gonna say, what if what if we did this? Here's a here's a crazy idea. It's on the fly. But what if Chris and I come up with a barrel? Breaking yeah. guys come up with a barrel, yep. and then if we could get a sample, and we'll do like a head to head taste off. Ooh. Yep. That's exactly what I was just thinking, Blake. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I mean, we're like, hey, hey Chris. Chris is like, how much more harder can you make this on me? It was two anyway, so we're, we, we, we're good either way. <laughs> is no, this the first awesome. ever 
Is this the first ever Crispy TC bourbon or breaking bourbon collaboration pick? Uh, uh for bourbon, yeah. No, yeah, I'm I'm just joking. But like no, me, I, it's hard. <laughs> the... I I think we no, just right. we we have to have you in there. Yeah, <laughs> I think this right. this helps with like this helps with like sticker idea create. Like I there's so many things now you can kind of you know, play with, with, uh, having a fun concept with that. But I like that idea, Blake, of, uh, let's each pick one from our three and then let's do it again and narrow it down and pick from those two. Yeah. Great. Chris, Chris, does that cause a complete logistics nightmare if we do that? <laughs> no, we, uh, okay. we've done far more for far less. Okay. Perfect. We already have six barrels <laughs> tied up. So now we'll just tie up two barrels. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're technically yeah. Untying four barrels today. There you go. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I already have a little bit of a front runner. Yeah. Funny, I have a front runner from the three that really? we have too. And and I don't see see I get a, a pretty similar nose on on all of them. I get good spice. I get um, you know a good grainy note, some sweetness, and but it's just one of them. I get like a, a little more caramel, a little more like I don't know. It, it's like some almost like a floral note, which I really like. Um, so, all right, well, I'll throw it over to the breaking guys. G give us some, give us some notes. What are you thinking on your sample so far? I think. Um noses are pretty similar one one jumps out a little bit more than the others palettes are, are varying between all the three that we have i think personally i think one's a little bit more hotter than the rest one's a little sweeter mm. one's a little tamer um there's one that keeps pulling me back to it that's for sure well, what sure. nose do you like the best jordan Let's what start nose do i like the best yeah yeah this, i think they're they're quite expressive you know, it's gonna the the nose that I really like the best was it's it's a tie with the nose between four four seven and four four nine. I didn't care four five one as much. Um, a little more expressive, but I got a little bit more a little more apple on that one that I prefer, I think. But then the palette was completely different. But is there a is there a nose that jumps out to either of you? Yeah, I kind of like four five one. Four five one. <laughs> what what draw you into that? Or four, or four seven. So yeah. I guess we're we're sharing the four yeah, seven. Sharing the, the apples. Four, seven. The, the apples. You like the apples. Four, yeah. seven. Yeah, the the <laughs> nose itself is a is a bit more dynamic on mm -hmm. four four seven. Yeah, so that's what I'm picking up. And then. I'm not sure if you guys have had a chance to taste through them, but I will say right away to me, 449 was very distinctive in the sense that the palate was really hot. I got a big, like 447, 451, pretty expressive. But 449 really blew up in a spice that almost overpowered it to a little bit too much to my liking. Um, it just, just so as we start throwing numbers, Blake, you've got 446. Four four eight and four five zero. Yeah, yeah. And and Chris, you've got that same thing, right? Or do you have I all have a blend. Oh. <laughs> I have a blend. Yeah. Uh, okay. What do you have, Chris? I, I think, I think, uh, I think our production team. Uh, we may have got. We may have gotten the wires crossed. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. it happens. Do you Just realize like, how many bottles do you know, I know what we're talking about? The time? I know, <laughs> like I know you've got something that we're tasting here, Chris. Which ones did you have? Uh, four, four, seven, four, four, nine, and, and four, four, five. Four, four, five. Ooh, a new one. Gotcha. Okay. So maybe we could throw in a third one, Chris. We got a contender. We got a new contender. <laughs> if Chris loves uh, four, four, five. We're really in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, I mean just to, just to expand on the on the nose, and I want to hear what um, you guys, Blake and Chris, think about from your side. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm getting more um, of the the uh, you know the character from that four four seven on the nose, four four nine, 
it's a little tamer for me. I, I'm not getting I'm not getting the heat there. And then four five one, I'm getting a little bit more like a leather note to it. It's got something unique going on that I'm not uh, picking up with the other two. So this makes me think all of these barrels are from a very similar lot, or maybe it's just the power of suggestion. But I, I'm I'm kind of following the same traje trajectory on some of my notes like i get really good leather on some and then some i do get that bright apple and like my four five zero um got a huge like burst of um more like green apple and and uh but baking spice on the back end and um but really the nose i i may, I may be not i don't love the nose on four five zero as much as four four six but the palette to me pops a little more so, are so, you getting any yeah, like leather note on that, Blake? Like uh, any leather tobacco note on that four five zero? A little bit, but I almost get a little more leather and tobacco on four four six. And, and the four four six, to me, it's got like a, a a candy cinnamon. So so like that hot tamales candy or the red hot candy on the nose, which I really like. Yeah. Mm hmm. But then when I go to the the palette, um, the palette to me is a little uh, is a little hotter, um, and and that could be proof. I don't know proof, um, but yeah, it's it's a little hotter and um, just not not quite as rounded and and developed as four five zero. So the proof on most of these <clears throat> will come in. A bit higher, uh, mm -hmm. anywhere from 116 to we've actually at this point seen him as hot as 121. Okay, or one one twenty point nine. So, okay. So how do y'all? Um, and I've got this question because we have another pick on Sealbox that um, it was MGP distillate, but then I think it aged for like seven years in in Traverse City. What are you seeing as far as proof wise? Like, are you seeing a, a drop in proof in general, or a, is it rising? Or you know, you seeing a big difference? Yeah. Great question. It traditionally we've <clears throat> we've always seen a rather dramatic drop in proof. Mm -hmm. So these mm -hmm. um, we're enjoying. The reason we sent this set of uh, samples, the care packages, is because it's. It's a set that has somehow remained pretty hot for a decent amount of time. And, and typically when we're opening barrels, it's anywhere from 105 to 112, 114, almost hmm. the highest. But um, we, yeah, these, this specific uh, family of barrels is living in a uh, a bit higher proof and it's it's just a bit more fun to play around with um a bit hotter anywhere from 117 to 121. interesting the, yeah those those who haven't been to the distillery um you know y'all don't have like the traditional nine story rick houses and everything it's all what are you stacking maybe five six barrels high in, in most cases yep. okay mm -hmm. yep five high um a very very high relative humidity um you guys haven't been up for winter yet, but we just we just started getting snow, and you know during the winter months there's actually a crust of of ice that builds up on the back wall of the rack house. Not temperature controlled, just just breathe in Michigan, and you know, <laughs> dur during the evaporative cycle, I mean one of two things is going to evaporate: either alcohol or water, and and typically in our world it's uh it's alcohol that evaporates first. So we do pop open barrels that are a bit hotter it's a it's a fun thing to share because it's pretty rare for us mm -hmm. are all these all these are still aging at tc2 at this point right yep yep god i love the tc1 and two and three buzz keep it up guys <laughs> 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 just feel like family talking <laughs> mm. eric could you taste three these three barrels is one drawing you towards it again and again, more so than the others? Yeah, I've been <clears throat> liking 451 quite a bit. Mm. 
That's an interesting choice, Eric. That's <clears throat> for me, that's the one that's the most unique of the three. Um, it's got those leather and tobacco notes to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I feel like I feel like four four seven four four nine or more of that like kind of caramel heavy four four nine is mm -hmm. a little bit sweeter um four four seven i think plays a little bit um more towards like there's a little bit of like a like a bite to it um that i'm not getting in four four nine but then four five one i'm getting this like more much more unusual leathery tobacco almost like a savory note to it that i don't uh i don't typically see i've only seen something like that in a few um bourbons ever in fact one of one of them was one of our new riff picks that had a kind of underlying note like that that um, i noticed so that one for me four five one of the group is definitely the one that stands out the it's most definitely the most unique is most unique whether or not i will say that for me four four nine from like tasting it ahead was the one i had tasted the most of i don't know if that says anything or not um but i i think that one's maybe a little more drinkable in the sense of just like you drink it and you're not it goes down maybe a little easier, whereas four five one it stands out more. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. Um, so uh, I kind of had the same thought, but my four five zero is it, kind of along those same lines. But I feel like if we're going to taste them head to head, we almost need a, like a counterbalance. So while i really like the four five zero getting some strategy in your pick now blake yeah the, the four four six i think will throw just a different dimension into the the seal box win that we're going to secure this time <laughs> <laughs> so chris you've got four four nine as well which for me i'm kind of like four four nine i like i like a lot for some reasons four five one I like a lot for some reasons. I mean, what's your what's your take on four four nine um, in general, and kind of compared to four four seven, and of course four four five. Um, I don't have, but what are you thinking on four four nine? So four four seven compared to four four nine is the going <clears throat> going back to back or head to head. I guess is I get it. I get a much more dynamic nose I personally. As I'm tasting, I my my nose kind of typically gives it away, right away, and and the complexity of four four seven it just it's a little bit I don't know spicier. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know a little little more fun for my palate, uh, but that's that's personal preference. I don't have a dog in this way, so it that just happens to be what I was drawn to when we. Um, first uh open the bottles yeah i agree i i think it's spicier than 449 as well i i definitely hmm. I, honestly of the three it just comes down to what kind of what flavor do i want not this one's better than this one more what what taste am i going for yeah blake how are you on your three so yeah i, I think I keep going back, trying not to pour another ounce, but I keep going back. I, I like four four eight, um, but the um, the four five zero and four four six are both ones that I I think just have that unique factor and kind of a few different things to them. And in the end, I'd probably say four four six wins slightly over the other two just because I think the nose is is a little more unique and a lot more cinnamon and you know all, all the things that I like you know we all talk about we like tannins and proof and at the end of the day everybody wants to drink dessert so if you've got you know apple cobbler sitting there nobody's going to turn that down and <laughs> that's kind of what 446 is for me so mm. Mm -hmm. So I'll push that one forward into the possible finale. <laughs> That's funny you say that, Blake, because I like our 447 for a lot of the same reasons. To me, I personally find it a little less spicy than 449. 
And maybe we just had somebody that put the wrong number on on my. <laughs> it would be really funny if we're all tasting the same barrels and uh, we've gone through uh, <laughs> acting like we're not. Uh, but I think going back to Nick and Eric's point, four five one is definitely it's unique. It's one hundred percent unique. That's for sure compared to the other two. In fact, it's probably just thinking about pulling bourbons off my shelf and tasting against it. It's definitely different too and, and different in a good way not a bad way the nose opens up a lot on 4512 as it sits yeah I'd, I'd like the nose on yeah, it probably does more ex expressive notes yeah the I apples kind of go away and you start getting some of those notes that you're talking about Nick those leather the tobacco the just richer flavors I'm getting a lot of nut too I don't know you guys getting it yeah I could see that in there too I yeah it's Uh, you know, I wonder if they, you know, I think four four seven and four five one do contrast themselves quite a bit. Um, I mean, four four seven, Jordan, you're on four four seven. Yeah, I think four, four, seven. Are, are really more on four five one, and then Blake. Um, I, I love the sound of that, like cinnamon dessert. I mean, there's definitely not some of the flavors I'm I'm getting from these. I feel like those three maybe. It would be a dynamic three to be like the final. <laughs> I don't know if you want to pull three forward or not. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah, guys. We, yeah, we can go on the final round of those three. That's, that's easy. So, so what was it again? It was four, four, six, four, five, one, and four, 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 five, one, no. and four, four, seven. Okay. Four, four, six, right? Four, four, seven. Four five one. Four five yep. one. So four four six is coming from Blake. Uh, four four seven is coming from Chris and Jordan. And then four five one is coming from uh, Eric and I. Oh, we got a we got a barrel pick showdown coming up. Oh, that's for man. sure. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> quite a split right. screen. Yeah, show, All right. show up in boxing gloves and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Well, yeah. Hey. We actually kept it to 30 minutes. I feel like that should be an accomplishment. You know, that that we, we should uh, just, uh, you know. <laughs> Only as we go part two coming up. <laughs> let, let, let's take the next 30 minutes to talk about how great it was that we kept it kind of short tonight. So, <laughs> <laughs> but no, so um, for all those thoughts that are watching, we're going to have a part two coming up in a week or so. Um, yeah, week to two weeks, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, where we we have a showdown between the different barrels from all of us, and um, yeah, we'll pick a final one out of that. So I'm excited. So again, all the guys from Breaking Bourbon, thanks for for joining me. As a, Chris, you know, we can't thank you enough for being willing to put up with us and send us barrel samples and and you know really make it fun. So thank you for doing that. We really do appreciate it. But yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. Good to see you guys. We'll, We'll be back in, uh, you know, no time to pick a fi final barrel. So thanks, everyone. Awesome. Thanks, thanks all. Thanks, everybody. Cheers.